Hello everyone. Today, we'll be diving into the top 5 conspiracy theories that were proven to be true in 2020. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 5. This past April, Queen Elizabeth II turned 94 years old, or at least that's what the British government would like you to think. In fact, new information has come to light that in 1982 during the Falklands War, British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher assassinated Queen Elizabeth II and replaced her with a clone of Betty White. This was done in an effort to make the British monarch live a longer life. However, they botched the operation by replacing the Queen with the clone of a person who is somehow even older. Number 4. It's been long debated in the scientific community whether or not Wyoming really exists, but in March 2020, the US government put together the first ever expedition to the so-called State of Wyoming. According to expedition leader Harold Haraldson, all that they found was a big rectangular void that led to nowhere. I must also warn you that there are now people online who are claiming to be from Wyoming. These people are known as Wyoming deniers and should be avoided at all costs. Number 3. It's long been suspected that Texas Senator Ted Cruz is really the true identity of the infamous Zodiac Killer. But earlier this year, New information came to light that the Zodiac Killer's ciphered messages had been cracked. These letters brought us the shocking revelation that the Zodiac Killer's true identity is in fact not Ted Cruz, but actually the Senator's long-lost brother, Tom Cruise. Number 2 We all know that global warming is a very serious problem, however, it may not be exactly what you think. Recently, a man claiming to be from the Uganda United Air Conditioners Association has come forwards with claims that global warming is actually being caused on purpose by Big AC in order to sell more air conditioners. One week after this information came to light, the whistleblower was found dead inside the air conditioner unit of a Philly cheesesteak restaurant. Let me know your thoughts on this tragic event in the comments below. Number 1. I think we can all agree that King's Hawaiian makes some of the best bread on the market today. But just last August, the bread fandom went hysterical when one online user on Reddit suggested that King's Hawaiian bread is made of actual Hawaiians. Some users defended the company, saying that this is just a simple instance of false advertising. However, I think that there's more to the story. If you'd like to discuss this more, remember to use hashtag OurHawaiiansReal on social media so that other members of the bread fandom can readily keep up with the ongoing in breadstigation. That's all the time I have for today. Stay safe out there. And remember, if anyone tries to sell you a plane ticket to Wyoming, you might never return.